Microcoder can find images anywhere on your screen. To add such action, click on image slash OCR and select detect image. First you have to tell Microrecorder for which image it shall search for. The data sources can either be a Microrecorder variable, like my picture variable, which may contain a picture eventually coming from the clipboard. Or you can select an image file. Or you can capture the image from your desktop. If you made a mistake, you can easily redo it. Then you can restrict the search area because searching for an image takes some CPU horsepower or to prevent false detections, you may want to restrict the search area. So click here and then you can restrict the search area to either the focused window, an area of the focus window or an area of the entire desktop. In this example, we select area of focused window. Then this button appears and click define to define the search scope. Click and hold the mouse button and open the rectangle. With the light bulb icon, you can verify the search area. Now let's redefine the actual image with the capture. And then we select the favorite icon because this is an indicator in our example when a web page is fully loaded. So you can use this function to wait until the web page is fully loaded for additional automation. You can then test the image find by clicking on test. And if the image has been found, everything is fine. And in case of error, you may want to experiment with the color tolerance. Once you define the search area and the actual image to search for, you need to tell Mark Recorder what to do when the image has been found. You can either move the mouse pointer to the position of the image, either centered, top left, top right, bottom left or bottom right, or you can click on the area. If you want to use the X and Y coordinates for additional automation, you can save the values into variables. Then you can tell Microrecorder what to do next. Either proceed with the next action or go to the end or to start over or to branch to any other custom label you may have defined in your script. Additionally, you can define a fallback if the image has not been found within a wait period. So you can either go to the end to the start or to any custom label. If you want to check for uh, different images at a time, select zero and go to the next action, which then would be again an image search. So you can cycle through a number of images to search for. That's it.